Mallorca has been attracting outstanding artists for years. Robert Graves was the first English settler on the island, Frederick Chopin lived and worked in monastic cells, and in the 1920s Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor were guests here. Find out why Mallorca is so captivating and eagerly visited. The Balearic Islands are located in the western Mediterranean Sea and are part of Spain. The largest island is Mallorca with an area of 3,640 square kilometers and a length of almost 100 kilometers. The picturesque coastline with high cliffs, beautiful beaches and charming bays is about 550 kilometers. Mallorca is considered to be one of the most beautiful islands in the Mediterranean Sea. Remarkable diversity of Mallorca's landscapes is related to its geological structure. It is dominated by limestones that easily cast. You will see a beautifully developed cast in the southeast highland part of the island, whereas, in the northeast part the Serra de Tramontana mountains are located. Their highest peak, Pug Major, is 1,445 meters above sea level. The lowland center of the island provides excellent conditions for the cultivation of olives, vines, citrus, figs and strawberries. Fertile soil makes a variety of vegetables grow well here. In the 10th century BC, the Phoenicians arrived in Mallorca. A little later, the Greeks settled here for several centuries. The Balearic Islands get their name from them. The best slingers of the time came from the islands, so they were named after the word balline, meaning to shoot with a slingshot. The Carthaginians and Romans left their mark too. Palma de Mallorca and Alcudia remained after them. During the migration period, that is in the 5th and 6th centuries, the Vandals and Visigoths passed through the island. The Balearic Islands were under the influence of the Arabs for over three centuries. It was not until the 13th century after the reconquest that the Aragonese and Spaniards settled here. Mallorca was also often attacked by the pirates as there were a lot of them in the Mediterranean Sea. That is why many cities were built far from the shores to hinder pirate raids. From the mid-20th century, there was a strong development of tourism, although the beauty of the island was already previously appreciated. For some time, Frédéric Chopin lived here with his friend George Sand. Today, the island's economy is largely based on tourism. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation, tickets to attractions and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. It's best to start exploring the island from its capital. Palma de Mallorca is located in a beautiful bay, surrounded by palm and pine forests. Most interesting places are located in the city center. One of the most important monuments is the Cathedral of La Sue, the construction of which began in the 13th century. Therefore, Levantine Gothic is its dominant style. It is distinguished by the 44-meter high nave, placing it third in the world when it comes to the height of the church's naves. The interior was designed by, among others, Antonio Gordi. Multicolored stained glass windows add to its mysticism and beauty. The Royal Palace of La Almudena is located opposite the cathedral. The roots of this building date back to the times when the Muslims ruled Mallorca. Later, the palace was rebuilt in Gothic style, but you can still see the Arab influence. Inside, you will see old equipment and many other interesting items from different eras. Right next to the palace there are beautiful gardens of Eshort del Rey. It is a perfect combination of magnificent vegetation, sculptures and small architecture. Make sure to take a walk along the streets of the old town. You will see many historic buildings, mansions and palaces, many of which can be visited. Patios, these are internal courtyards, usually beautifully decorated with flowers are especially interesting. In Parma you can also see the Belva Castle. It is not only beautiful, but it is one of the few in the world built on a circular plan. There is a city museum in the castle and after the sightseeing, you can rest in the park surrounding it. From Parma, travel north of the island to Sala. Check out some interesting places along the way. Start from Valdemossa located at the foot of the mountains. 
It is worth visiting for at least two reasons, the real Cartuja de Jesus de Nazareth Monastery and Chopin. The Carthusians of Tarragona came here at the end of the 14th century. They rebuilt the existing buildings, adjusting them to the monastic rule. In the 19th century, the monastery was secularized. In 1838, Frédéric Chopin and his friend George Sand lived in the monastery cells. The composer created many of his works here. Today, in the monastery, you can see, among others, Chopin memorabilia, reconstructed cells of monks and an old pharmacy. Visit also small but extremely charming town of Daya. This picturesquely located place with orange sandstone houses has inspired many artists. There is also a very nice beach here. If you want to learn about the prehistory of the Balearic Islands, be sure to visit the local archaeological museum. The Sanctuary of Luck is located in the depths of the Serra de Tramontana Mountains. It's not only the most popular spiritual place of the island, but also exceptionally attractive landscapes. The origins of the sanctuary date back to the 13th century. The Black Madonna of Luck, also called Moronetta, or Blackie, is worshipped here. She is also the patron saint of Majorca. You finally arrive at Sala, a charming village situated in a mountain valley, at the foot of the highest peak of the island, Pug Major. The valley is often called the Valley of Orange Trees as there are so many of them. Try some juice from local oranges, it's perfect. A few kilometers from Sala there is a port of the same name. You can get there by historic tram. However, return to Palma by historic train. Both routes are really picturesque and the journey by wooden carriages is extremely exciting. There are a few more towns in Mallorca that should be visited. One of them is Capdepera with the best preserved castle on the island. It was built in the 14th century to protect against attacks from the sea. Today it is an exceptionally attractive place for tourists who can walk along the walls of the fortress and admire the magnificent views from them. Inside the walls there is also a church dedicated to the Madonna of Hope and the Governor's House. You can also visit Adi, a town famous for the medieval fortress of S. Almadain. The interesting watchtower of La Torre de Saint Miguel may draw your attention. The fortress located on a hill, hides the sanctuary of Saint Silvato. It is worth visiting not only because of its historical and architectural values, but also because it is an excellent viewpoint. Alcudia is a truly unique town. It was the first town on the island founded by the Romans. The archaeologists have discovered a lot of interesting remains of it, including a theatre, forum and necropolises. You will surely enjoy a walk along the city walls with 26 towers which you can end up in an interesting parish church. After this walk, visit one of the numerous cafes and restaurants at Constitution Square, the main square of the city. Palenka also has Roman roots. You can even cross the local river with a Roman bridge from the 1st century. You will be delighted with narrow streets with historic tenement houses which will take you to the main square of the city. You will immediately notice the massive shape of Esclesia de Nostra Senora dels Angels Church. It was built by the Templars in the 13th century, but in the 17th century it was heavily rebuilt. Interesting archaeological collections of Gothic and modern art can be seen in the City Museum, which is located in the former Dominican Monastery. Right behind the main square, another attraction begins, that is 365 stone stairs that lead to Calvary, a small chapel at the top of the hill. The faithful take this path on their knees. In Mallorca you will find many lovely places and viewpoints. One of the most beautiful and eagerly visited, despite difficult access, is the Formenta Peninsula, the northernmost point of Mallorca. A winding road, liked by the cyclists leads to it. Why is Formenta so popular? It offers a unique view of the sea, high cliffs, mountains and winding roads. You should definitely reach the lighthouse built in 1863, located 210 meters above sea level. Many people think that this is a unique place and that is where the best panoramas are. Currently, there is a restaurant in the lighthouse. Since Mallorca is built mainly of highly karstic limestone, it is not surprising that there are a lot of caves. Some of them have been made available for sightseeing. Delve into the underground, mysterious and beautiful world of the island. The available caves are perfectly prepared for exploring. Beautifully illuminated, they delight with dripstone formations. 
Thanks to excellent acoustics some concerts are held in some of the caves. The most famous are Cuevas del Drach or Dragon Caves. They were given this name because the dripstones decorating the caves resemble the teeth in the mouth of a dragon. Of course, you will only see a part of this cave complex, but walking these 1,200 meters will make you truly delighted. You can also take a boat on the Martel Underground Lake which is one of the largest underground lakes in the world. Finally, there is a short concert waiting for you. Cuevas del Hams, or Hook's Cave is located in the vicinity of the Dragon Caves. The name is extremely strange but justified as you will be able to find out. The stalactites hanging from the ceiling are shaped like hooks. Here you can also count on a concert combined with a multimedia show on the walls of the grotto. This beautiful cave also makes its interior available for occasional parties. It only takes a few minutes to reach Cuevas de Genova from the center of Palma de Mallorca. The cave was discovered in 1906 and immediately became a big attraction. Beautiful dripstones and rock formations are additionally illuminated with colored lights. Cuevas de Ada, located in the east of the island, is considered by many to be the most beautiful cave in Mallorca. Its unusual dripstones resemble animals, faces and plants. Light shows allow to see all kinds of things there. One of the greatest attractions of the cave is Reina de las Columna, the Queen of Columns. It is the largest stalagmite on the island, 22 meters high. However, it will take about 5,000 years for it to merge with the ceiling. After an intensive exploration of the island, take some rest on one of the beautiful beaches for a while. There are plenty of them, over 331 of them have the blue flag marking which is given to beaches and bathing areas that meet the highest standards of environmental protection, safety and accessibility. The most beautiful is Cola Mesquita, located about 7 kilometers from Cap Depra. In its vicinity you can see a huge colony of gulls and cormorants. Take a look at Playa de Muro located in the north of the island, where you will see some of the most photographed bridges in the world. In Mallorca you can find many places where you can observe nature, both on land and underwater. These are numerous nature parks that protect interesting flora and fauna. Mallorca is also a great place for practicing water sports. Apart from swimming in the sea, you can go diving, sailing, windsurfing or kitesurfing. If you are a fan of cycling or golf, you will also find something to do for you here. There are many beautiful bike routes and you can rent a bike from one of the numerous rental shops. Professional cyclists often train here. The selection of golf courses is also huge and all of them are well kept. Mallorca also has great terrain for jogging and mountain hiking. The mountains might not be high, but are definitely full of interesting trails. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip!